Attorney General Barr suggests some lawmakers still believe in the Russian collusion narrative. When America's Christian Rose looks into Democrat attempts to keep that witch hunt alive. We're going to, in a bipartisan way, I hope, deal with Russia. Coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia. The Russian witch hunt appears to be taking a new turn as debates over alleged Russian meddling with U.S. elections continue on Capitol Hill. During his Senate testimony Wednesday, Attorney General William Barr said Democrat lawmakers appear to believe in the Russian collusion narratives regardless of the findings of special counsel Robert Mueller. Barr defended his decision to release the Mueller report and to the timing of its publication, saying it was all up to him according to the U.S. law. You know, how did we get to the point here where the evidence is now that the president was falsely accused of colluding with the Russians and two years of his administration uh, have been dominated by the allegations that have now been proven false. However, some lawmakers insist that at least maybe the Russians have tried to collude with the Trump campaign. They point to the alleged Russian postings on social media, as well as questionable activities of suspected Russian agents in the U.S., which could be seen as possible meddling. Those links included Russian offers of assistance to the campaign, and in some instances the campaign was receptive to the offer. However, publicly available evidence appears to be insufficient to prove such claims. The highly publicized Trump Tower meeting with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitska turned out to be a botched lobbying attempt against the sanctions imposed on corrupt Russian officials back in 2012. Separately, more than a dozen Russians indicted by Mueller face charges of bank fraud and identity theft, which is regular white-collar crime committed by citizens of all countries on a daily basis. Additionally, some point out the Obama administration didn't mind such activities in years prior to 2016. Why didn't the Obama administration do more uh, as early as 2014 in investigating Russian efforts uh, to prepare to undermine and sow dissension in the 2016 uh, election? However, it's the word Russia, not the Kremlin, not Putin, not at least the Russian government, but Russia was brought up on multiple occasions during Wednesday's hearings, almost exclusively in negative context. And while President Trump may have been exonerated, the Russia part of the collusion narrative is still deemed as hostile, malicious and dangerous, thanks to partisan rhetoric. Listen to some of the rhetoric, you would think that the Mueller report had found the opposite. These latest discussions may suggest President Trump has decisively defeated his political foes in D.C. and is bracing for a counterattack. But U.S.-Russian relations appear to be damaged beyond repair as yet another casualty to failed political ambitions of the Democrat Party. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.